Welcome to the Full Time Devils podcast. I am Adam Akola. He is Andy Tate. He is Abdullah, and he is Jay. We are here on the day after Manchester United were beaten by uh, beaten by Chelsea. You know what? what? Felt yeah. like it. Howson did that. I did that a couple of times <laughs> yesterday as well. It's because yeah. it feels uh, like a defeat. Yeah. Right? yeah, it does. It does. Giving them that goal. It was yeah. one-one. It wasn't a defeat. But it felt like a defeat. The grand it felt scheme like of it the season was over. Because if we won that game yesterday, we would have been feeling good. Huddersfield, to Cardiff to play, two relegated teams. Win both of them. More than I likely you're in the Champions League. Yeah. Um, and now, Europa League is coming. Unless we get snookers next weekend, but I doubt it. Hold so, on. Chelsea. I don't mind missing out on the Europa League. I want, yeah, same here. I won't mind missing out on it altogether. It gave me one of my best nights as a United fan. True. But Stockholm, you know where you are. But that ain't gonna happen again. And um, once we would won it, the sort of feeling was right. We've completed the set. <laughs> yeah. We won it. Let's never get back in this competition in my lifetime. And then now what? Two years later. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Progression. We're back again. Yeah, mate. Dean made a great point in his fan cam um, where he said like eleven years ago both these teams playing in the Champions League final and now look mm. like we've been talking about Chelsea which yeah. I thought was and you look at the Ajax side as well two years ago we, we comfortably Progress, beat them in the Europa League final and you look at how Chelsea and United are run right now as well compared to City and Liverpool you look at the progress and then Ajax who we played in a final who had the lick 20 of 17 in that final as well so you look at how they've built the team around them bought in the right players and you look at how we've gone about things so the clear difference in direction of how they're running the club, man. Uh, there is a clear difference in direction. One thing I would say is, though, we never see, like, we look at De Ligt and we look at all those younger players and we'd love to see that at United. But have we got the environment for that? Yeah. Because, I mean, we see we see younger players at United at the moment um, getting absolutely torn apart after a bad game. Now, I believe nobody should be, you know, protected from criticism yeah. because it's football and it? like you should be able to criticise someone about football if they had a bad performance as long as it's not abusive but we look at the treatment of Marcus Rashford for example and people those same people that criticise him and say he's awful and championship quality whatever are calling for Greenwood to start and you think I, I seen you tweet the other day like 2022 oh this Greenwood is he's only playing because he's yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that was a funny like, tweet it I was like a that. joke obviously mm-hmm. because but yeah, I can, you can see the progression, yeah. can't you? Like now, play Greenwood next year. Oh, he, he, you know, he could be the next, he could be the future. The year after that, he's not doing good. He's not good enough. The year after that, get rid of him. He's only that ten. I think yeah. the, <laughs> the issue that we have right now is that we're too reliant on these like young lads, where they need, like you said, they need the environment to flourish. When you look at Ajax, they bought the Lictum Daily Blinding last summer. That was ideal because then you had Tadic, who uh, sorry, the Lictum Daily Blind, Tadic and and Daily Blind. So he had Blind alongside uh, De Ligt, and then he had Tadic in the forward line, experience and head visit and the Premier League. So those were like sensible signings, experienced players. We just haven't been making those signings. Whereas Zlatan was, Zlatan was the right one, but we, yeah. didn't, we didn't have another backup that summer. It was more for a marketable signing, more than anything. Think- looking at that game, sorry Andy, it's coming to you now. Looking at that game yesterday, feels like a massive drop two points. Um, yeah, it was. It was. It felt feels like a defeat. Like I say, uh, I don't see Chelsea dropping any points in the last two games. They need one point, don't they? Really, three. We can finish on seventy-one. They're on 68, 68 points. So we could squeeze it, but I don't see Chelsea dropping it. They got Watford next Sunday. Same time we play Huddersfield. Cup for So uh, that's it. Mind you, they have got Leicester last day of the season away. And Leicester tend to do. They're they doing very well at the moment. They want You don't know. You don't know. So Leicester, know. you never know. But that's what I think. The goal difference is gone. The goal difference is is unreal. Yeah, yeah. Is that was it a nine goal swing or something like that between us and Chelsea? Is pretty far. It's good, quite yeah. simple, isn't it? If we won like three or four nil yesterday, five nil, it would have five been... nil against Huddersfield, five nil against Cardiff. Oh yeah, you're laughing. Had we just won yesterday, I think they were going to drop points against Leicester and, and Watford. I think it was going to happen. Where do you see it on my That's a okay, right. Oh, you know, we, we, we're, it's amazing that we got that close. Or do you just think? I think Steve said. Steve, I think it was Steve yesterday. I said if the if Ali's time was flipped, 
we'd be all buzzing right now. Right. Like, you know, the results yeah. came, like we started off gradually and we were a bit shit and then the football started to flow and the results started to flow. And I kind of think the same as well, like because we had that start, now we've had this dip and it's a massive dip because when we look at it, I think it's, we haven't had that sort of form since just after yeah. the Munich air disaster or something ridiculous yeah, like that. And when you think of the period the club was in at that time and compared to now, um, it's massive contrast. Um, so I think Oli's done a good, like we shouldn't have been in with a sniff, let's be real. Yeah. We shouldn't have been no, in with no, a sniff. No, no, no. We shouldn't no, have even no, no. been in with the, the hope of it. So he's done well in that uh, like that aspect. But you look at some of the games, Burnley at home, we should have got three points there. Uh, Liverpool at home. I know we suffered a few injuries and all that, but I think that, that was two points change. dropped as well. Um, and then you look at the games against Everton and all that. If you manage to pick up a point or two in one of those games then you're laughing and I just think we've missed opportunities along the way, although we yeah. were very fortunate to be in that position after the start I think of the, the campaign we had. it's sort of gone downhill from, from, from the start, you know, that we had a brilliant start under Ollie, is because Ollie walked in and he was like, all right, there's quality in this side. There's definitely, qu there, are, there are quality players in this team without a doubt. The problem is the intensity and the work ethic in that side compared to the likes of Liverpool. We've not been playing at that level under Mourinho, so injuries straight away. It's like Klopp when he first joined Liverpool. They had a dip in form because they weren't used to that level of football. But the best teams in the world, I, said, I mentioned this on my fan cam, it's not just about the quality and the way they knock the ball around. We're poor at that, but the biggest issue is, we, yesterday we played Matic, Herrera, Pogba. They're pretty good with the ball at their feet. Yes, Matic is slow, Herrera isn't the best attacking player, but they are good. The intensity is just, a drift compared to City and Liverpool in midfield they win the ball back and they keep it so well Lukaku well, was on the wing yesterday yeah I, I, mean, I don't know about all that where like he's a striker then he, he drifts too out wide and he's done man we I can't think. play the diamond we can't, like, can't play the diamond he's like he looks like a player to me that just doesn't want to make mistakes and once you start playing like that yeah hiding you, yeah, and like sometimes like yesterday I got criticised for tweeting that I've never seen a goal scorer like try not to get into goal scoring opportunities as much as I have Lukaku and I got <laughs> someone was saying oh how can you crit criticise Lukaku for that firstly people criticise Pogba when he, when he plays well and he costs £15 million more than Lukaku Lukaku is a goal scorer and he's hiding from the ball he's hiding behind defenders I would win headers against him Sanchez and that should never be the case when, it, when he was on when, when, when you look should at Zlatan kids? when he was at the club yeah. an older Zlatan that like he even when he was like he had a lot of crap games and you'll yeah, find fan yeah. cams of me saying he was awful. Yeah. But even when he was, he he got involved. You know, he's and he won. I, I know. Ever as old man Sam United fan, who had a terrible game and got a hat trick. Is that? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that Sanetian? Yeah, Sanetian yeah. yeah. at home. And it was a crap was hat trick dreadful. as well. It was well, a crap hat goals. trick. It was, it was a crap awful. Hat trick. Yeah, it was like was it a free kick a penalty and a. a but the free kick wasn't roll. like it rolled in and the penalty was like. Oh, I mean, it's a simple one. Like what Mac is saying, it, you know, it'd be effective, or, yeah. you know what I mean? You could see what was happening. It's a mentality. And he was 35 years old, so you got to give him a bit of a... I think we, we really lack... We underrate... We talk a lot about quality, and I've fallen into that as well. We underrate stuff like leadership on that pitch, because... Yesterday, oh, was, no, no, I've no, seen no. it, and I've, I've I've seen it, I've seen it now in two games. We've got no leadership. When I, I've sat lower now, usually I'm straight for end, and I really see it on the pitch. There's just no one like going. I, did, I would disagree a little bit. Ashley Young on Friday, opening his trap. I'm one of the leaders in the dressing room. People don't know the inside. There's plenty of leaders. My dad was at the Derby Wednesday. Yeah. He, like, he's, he could, he's like I'm watching it with his mates. There's no tell me who's leading. Yeah, yeah, you, you can that see it. Yesterday. Honestly, there's no you can see it. On the pitch. I, I, I have to say, though, yesterday... I, I don't think he's not trying. trying. Yeah, 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 but he is. No, no, but when I'm... In mouth, and I like the fact he's in the referee's ear. I like that, mate. Yeah. You need a bit of that. I think you do. <coughs> and he was organising. He was telling players to push on. And he was... Yeah, but that, that's the problem. We're not we're there's not building a team around the leader. I know I was critical of Pogba yesterday, but I know that, say, most of the other team was, like I say, not not to standard, not very good, but he was part of it as well. I went in on him only because at the end, at the end of the game, I, like we say, we were all frustrated. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, I say back some of what I said, but it, 
It's, 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 Force it, yeah. like things to happen, and he's making them yeah. look, look. Rashford's been as poor as Lukaku, if not worse, over the last couple of months. But I feel like people get duped by Lukaku whipping a good ball into the box or winning a, you know, a, a ball, and then thinking he's had a good game. We bought this guy to score goals and be a hungry goal scorer. He's simply not, and I feel like we're missing it's that leadership you know. up front, through the middle, up up top, yeah. and then in the mi- middle of the park. We've got one midfielder that we can rely on at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Herrera's leaving. Yeah. Matic isn't good Herrera enough. Is um, no, yeah. And you just look at that. I think McTominay, uh, I can't... I did. I never thought he was good enough for Manchester United. Never, ever. But what I see from him is someone that wants to be here. Wants it, he wants to play for Manchester United. And it's he the wants mentality. To, He's not got a weak whereas mentality. You, can, you can't measure who yeah. wants it. You can't, I find that a mad thing sometimes. Oh, they're not playing for the badge and stuff. Sometimes... It just goes wrong. And I mentioned to you yesterday, like, you could put poor goals in yeah. place of Pogba in his team. It's not changing anything. And I feel like you need to get the other things right around it as well. Um, that's not to, to excuse Paul Pogba from bad performances. He's had bad performances. He's been inconsistent as well. But I feel like when we're looking at him as the problem, we're looking at the wrong place. We're looking at majorly the wrong place because he. what, what do people think Paul Pogba is? is what I would ask the people that criticise him every game. Like, what do you expect to see from him? Because what we see is a central midfielder that's passing the football, retaining the ball at times, bringing it from defence to attack. And some of his passing is out of the world, out of this world. How many times like, is he we, what are we forward looking, and no like, one makes I mean? a run? How many times yesterday he turns around, he carries the ball forward, he's waiting for the run. By the way, you can see this, he looks back up, no run again. And it's only Rashford that runs. If you look at the stats... And that's like, why he I always has the only, so much. He always has the highest sprints. Even when he was injured against Liverpool, he had the highest sprints in that game. Rashford just runs all game. The rest of it, it's, it Sometimes it is simply down to wanting it or not. And, and you can see from the body language and the mentality. I wanted to mention the mentality. Once we can see the goal, we lose control. We don't... Yeah, that's... We, we lose control <laughs> of the game. It messes with their heads. And I think they all go into hiding, and that's what I liked about Scott McTominay. When he came on, he wanted the ball. Yeah. He said, give me the ball. He uh, got the ball. No one's around him. And, and that's what's frustrating. Barry Scruff for the neck and just went forward with do you it. Think, do you think the Hayes form has not the team's confidence? Because we used to be able to rely on the fact that, yo, no matter what happens, we've got... I'm not yeah. going to criticise him. Then. No, I'm asking you to criticise him, I'm, but I'm, what I'm asking you is... Maybe ask... Do you think his form has then led to others in front of him being uncertain... Yeah, but if you look at it... What, what, should he have been yeah. dropped for Romero? No, but why, how many times has he saved us over the years? No, that's fine, though, but... What's he got in front of him? That was why Wayne Rooney was staying in the team, though. But and that's I, not to say David De Gea fell off like Wayne Rooney, because he hasn't, and he'll be back to his best. But... Maybe it has affected him. He's playing him more negative than it is positive, Maybe because we is. saw yesterday he made a mistake. But, but what's... If, if you remember it, what's in front of him? Sometimes, like he shakes his head and he's he's shaking his head. What what look at that defense in front of him? Yeah, yeah. It it works both ways. If you're shaking your head in disbelief, <coughs> I can't believe what Phil Jones is doing, Chris Marlin's doing, Ashley Young's doing. He's got every right to say that, and they and they, mm. and it works both ways. You criticize yeah. each other. You can't point a finger at, 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 at uh, David De Gea. It was what it happens. I think though. No. We were talking about it the other day off camera because yeah. you said it was nil. You put the hay in your side. In yeah, yeah. Discussion for you. No, no, no. I regret it, and I, and I mentioned it. I think me, me and Steve were sort of saying it was right. Like, yeah. like put in, I put Romero in because it was a must win game, and the hay's gone yeah. to pot. And this isn't a case of the social because you don't know how these things turn out. But yeah. it's at a point now with the hay, like where maybe giving him anything. A, at him, yeah, he's just, like just, have just a give him a rest like two that games against an attack that will feel confident if I get my shot off, you're asking for trouble because you can't rely on that defence. I thought stop, we, stop we were all right saving. defensively yesterday. To, well, for the, to a certain saying, extent. I thought Eric played well. I thought uh, Bayou was good. I thought yeah. Bayou Lindelof was good. Uh, it's the same thing with him, though, isn't it? I know, you know, accidents happen and injuries happen, but 
he just never seems to be able to either finish a game of football or get a run of games. Gosh, which one's that? Bayern. Bayern. Yeah. Right, Bayern. Young he Cisco yesterday. Right. Right. I seen Rojo clatter in front of me oh, on my oh, side. Oh, oh, he clattered. Oh, Mate, he needs clattered to s- a Chelsea player. That was a sending off. Wow. He needs to see a psychologist. I'm Jesus. I tweeted when they got that. one lunatic for another. Yeah. It was yeah. like no, but soon. he's next level because he's flying into one man, yeah, and you're like, no, the hell, this could be sending. Guess what? Did he take down? Did he take? Down. William. I don't know. William, yeah, it's William. Down, and that was a William's foot planted its snaps. Yeah. Because yeah. that was her mental. He does it all the time. Do you remember Gullison with that absolute two, not the recent game, last season? That was meant. 240 from about five yards away, launches himself. <laughs> do you know how can I just say? booking as well. Do you know if. What is the most blatant red you can see? I played for this Man United. I'm one of them kids that just losing my head as soon as you like the game's gone. I'd be Rojo. Like just flying, yeah. Or Wes Brown, just. I wanted, to, Wes I Brown. wanted someone to do that. At least Fair. Wes Brown like had a bit. Of fairness, you know. <laughs> I wanted someone to do that. Get yeah. Amy. Like that's it. The game's lost. At least you know we're dropping points because Liverpool and all that. Just snap. One finger can't roll. Uh, look, I know we don't like Liverpool, but why did all? I've heard this. I wasn't in the ground. I was on my way to the ground when City scored. The ground cheered. The ground Why? didn't cheer. I was in the pub, no, and a few people went, <laughs> yes. No, I didn't hear, like, th- th- someone tweeted it, making it sound like there was a um, hovercraft above Manchester measuring the decibel level of the sound. Yeah. Like, it was really weird how it was tweeted, but... What? It was I a was thing where... The no, was people nothing. were tweeting that there was, a edi- there was an audible cheer. I was edible in cheer? football. Like, people cheer. were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It like, it's these them. scouts, man, honestly. Like, there was one guy tweeting saying, how can you support City? You were supporting United, like, three days ago. What? <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what though? Um, so I won the league. Uh, so was I. <laughs> it's interesting to go back to Liverpool thing. <laughs> you get where you're coming from, Macker, about that draw against Liverpool. But if they don't win the league, I think that's a missed opportunity for them. Yeah, because they could have went for it. They, and, and we were. Same right, against Everton. Uh, it, they had two games. They drew nil-nil with us, and the following mm-hmm. week they drew with Everton. That you don't twenty minutes to go. Then at the same time, they, they should have gone for our throat. They didn't. That's nah, but then they can also look games, at things like Jermaine Pickford hooking it out from a goal kick oh, and slap. Uh, J- Jermaine Pickford. <laughs> no, Who's Jermaine? Jermaine? Twenty nine. <laughs> this guy yeah. changes all. Was it twenty nine? <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine. Yesterday, <laughs> goal line technology was just across yesterday. It's just the cross. Oh, and do you know, two and do you know like the Salah one. moment against Spurs and like it's just the whole season's gone like in the way for Liverpool to win it. Whoa, 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 still can, they could still win the they're Champions still League. Win. Yeah. You, uh, I still uh, think they're gonna win the league. I just feel like double. I feel like City are gonna drop five. Or it's gonna be an Aguero moment. Especially last after day. the Burnley. This could be the worst season of my life. What did you think of that Marshall video? Of him oh, training. Yeah, mm, I don't like that. I find it I find it it's annoying weird. because I wanna see my subs kind of Putting it all in, but then we don't know the si- not we don't know the situation. Yeah. Uh, we don't know how long yeah. that's filmed. Because that? that, when I was watching that video, when I was watching that video, it kind of looks like he's having a discussion with one of the coaches yeah. across, and then Rojo's not moving next to him either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's not just him. But then um, I also heard when he went out for his warm up in the second half, he went back to the bench and was telling him about an injury. So whether he's feeling that, then uh, I don't know. It, it did seem strange to me, especially when Marcus went off, that he wouldn't... That he didn't come on. on. Yeah, it might have been. My mate. Because... Toto, he is my mate. Yeah, because he, he was, he's was he been very effective against Chelsea. So, like, last he scored twice in yeah. Stamford Bridge. He, you know, and he, he's the sort of player who can get him behind the long zone, yeah. have him on souls. And it was just like, it seemed like a, a, a bit of a no-brainer. Yeah. So, I want next season... To, I think next season is a massive season for the likes of Martial and Rashford because the penny should be dropping with them. Yeah. I don't mean we see the final product and we see everything from them, but the penny should be dropping with them. There was at one point in this season, I thought it was this season, where they were going to push on and get 20 goals because there was a certain period of time where they were all on for a yeah, decent no, tally right, in the season. The right. um, thing with Martial for me is... Um, <laughs> He doesn't always make the runs that he should. Like I feel like he's so confident in his ability to beat a man with the ball at his feet yeah. that he doesn't run in behind an awful lot of the time. And if he used that pace with the likes of... Again, it makes Pogba's life more difficult when he's on the ball. When there's no runners, 
is so difficult. And I, I think Martial has got the Martial. pace. He's got the pace. He's got the the ability. He's got the mm. he's got the the intelligence in front of goal, but he doesn't get himself into those. And yeah. he's getting he can get away with it more because he plays out wide. It's not like a Lukaku thing where he's drifting and he's yeah. going out there. But he needs. To, I think. I think with them, the penny game, just needs I, to. In the West Ham game, I noticed like like me and David sat next to each other and we kept picking up on one point. Like he almost off the ball runs into the man. Like he he like gets he closer tries to, to the get man. that runway arches and, away and but, then the ball comes yeah. in over that's the thing he almost doesn't read the game well enough off the ball and like you said it might be because he's so confident on his ability on it that he might want to receive it in what that I find way. annoying with him is he sticks out wide yeah. rather than going in central bringing the full back with you and then pulling out and there's so that's much space there does. he never ever that's does it good thing Rashford Rashford's does. Rashes, um, good off the ball. runs are very People good. don't pick up on them, but um, really good off the ball. But it yeah, opens up space. Big season for them next season. It's a yeah. big season for Manchester United. Um, I don't, I don't know whether Ali's going to be a success at the club in terms of trophies. But what I do think is it'll be a success in terms of getting rid of a lot of shit and changing that attitude at the club. Yeah. Do, do you, you think, guys agree with that? I, I think he like will. He I think he will to a point. Yeah, <laughs> but. Um, well, I know you, you're Martial FC. I totally understand that. Yep. So, but I'm starting to ask questions now of Jesse Lingard, and I want to know, like, like you say, this he, he seems he's, he's off the boil at the moment. Would could he be a casualty in the summer? Hey. I don't Jesse see Lingard. I don't see Lingard leaving because I think he's a he's a player that will always be wanted in the okay. squad. Uh, check this out. It's, we're doing Service things. That I provided we're doing things well here. I think Jesse will always be wanted in the squad. He's always the kind of character you keep around the club. But the one thing for Jesse Lingard is he has to get back to influencing the game. Now, next season, after a good pre-season and with the club coach to play in the football all he wants to, I think Jesse could maybe flourish. But having said that, he's old enough to be, to be regarded as a, as a senior player and he's, he's, he's wise enough to be able to, to have that consistency in his game. So we need him to pick up his levels as well. If he wants to be a consistent starter at United, otherwise, all he'll become is a player that is just a squad player. And so that's kind of... Because I don't think United would ever force him out of the club like that, because I think he does offer something. Yeah, it's just the... Who'd take him, though? If, if no, a lot of, a a lot lot of teams you know, would take him. still sort of bad <laughs> England and Arsenal, aren't you? I know that doesn't necessarily mean a lot at the minute, but I played it. But oh, Chelsea well. a couple of years ago. I think Tottenham yeah. are taking. Yeah, I think Spurs take. I don't think you know. Let's face. I know they won't, won't sell them anyway, but I don't think the City or Liverpool will buy Jesse Lingard, or maybe even Liverpool Spurs might. Him. Liverpool yeah. might. You got us played him in that role. Mm. I honestly think. I know we. we, never, we, we I think we should have been playing. Jalen would go to Liverpool. Well. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, it wouldn't. We're just saying the quality wise. We're getting yeah. on the subject of transfers now for the summer. You get out your wish list for the summer. You're director of football, Andy. Yeah, I know what I want. Andy, I know, I know what I know what I Talk want in and out. Uh, what can I say? But I will keep the hair. I keep Luke Shaw. I keep Lindelof. Luke Shaw needs to give us more next season, though. I, I, agree. Agree. I agree. We keep him, I but agree. he needs to keep, give us more. I agree. I agree. Yeah, Chris Smalling, Phil Jones out the door. Not happening. No, as much as you, you say, it, I'm just gonna <sighs> commentate in the background. I, I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna say. Ashley Young out the door. Not you bring in. No, I'm just sorting the oh, defence yeah, out. You can, sort, yeah, no, I, you can sort out the midfield. <laughs> I will bring in Alderweireld. Yeah. Not happening with Europa League football. Oh, can I? I'm just, this is my wish list. <laughs> oh, you have Kula Barley or Maguire, two of them three. Maguire happens and with you Europa Eric, League football. You keep Eric as well. <laughs> that, no, that, that's, a, that's a decent defence, that. that yeah. That's the problem pro we've got with our centre halves is they're always injured or inconsistent. Every Fair single, enough. apart from Victor of Lindelof. Did you have a right back in all that? Mm. Well, the we just reti tapping. retired the position with Ashley Young. Well, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, after someone's had a glittery career, just retiring Del that Piero's position. Yeah, we definitely need a right back. We definitely need a right back. Yeah. Yeah. Why we, do you think of Diogo De Lo, Andy? Yeah, definitely. He's, he's definitely what he's going to come on leaps yeah. and bounds. It's, like, it's, it's his first season. And you bring him, uh, you bring him forward again. He's, I'll, he's I'll tell you what. A point about the laws. Uh, sorry to stop you there, Andy. Um, I think we need players that can play more than one role. 
So you got a player that can play a right back, a left back, and a right winger, and an offensive and defensive sort of option. Yeah. I think he can be that guy. The best teams in the world, Ajax do that a lot, where the players shuffle around, so play football. a different position. Yeah, total football, basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think we haven't got enough players that do that. And I think if you get Aaron wan from Crystal Palace, who, if you watch... I've heard them, yeah. I've heard absolutely. Yeah. Defensively. <laughs> Good, Good to hear, Andy. You've been watching Match of the Day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do my club. I don't do rest of Premier League. <laughs> uh, I think Sorry. In, ter- in terms of the way he plays, as a, like a defensive fullback, it would allow someone like Luke Shaw to move forward, and then you can rotate that between the low. And I think whoever gets him next, they're going to build a brilliant defense around him. Do you know what sort of sums He's up definitely how, somewhere how up bad there. our season's been? Because yeah. I'm with you, Macro and Luke Shaw. I think he needs to do more. Yeah, he's one of our players of the month about four times on in this season. No, he has done good. He has done well. well I just feel I like think that's slightly indicative of the fact that I've had poor people. Yeah, we've not been. You know, if you look at now for a play of the season, yeah, there's people out there. We don't need to open up all wounds. Who would argue Pogba's not had a good season? Yeah, you could argue he's our player of the season. He is our player of the yeah. season. So that's what I'm saying. By far, that's the level. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously. Yeah, he's not getting it this year. You're gonna fight me about Andy for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be stand out players have this season. Lindelof, maybe. Lindelof, sta- yeah. I, I'd say. I think that's for the improvement. Yeah. His most improved player of the year. But you could go through every position. You know, everyone's had purple patches. Herrera had a purple patch. Uh, you know, I love under Herrera. Matic even had a bit of a purple patch when uh, Oli came in for 30 minutes. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> against Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Marshall had a purple patch towards the end of Jose. Rashford's had a, a patch when Oli came in. <sighs> Even Jesse, but no one's had a good or a great season. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I think the thing is with Luke Shaw, Not which I, that, no, David, which I noticed against Chelsea, is that he's sometimes hesitant. So when the rest of the team, like I spoke about mentality and, and like everyone just sort of backing off and hiding on the pitch. You want like your fullback to burst forward and give you that option. Yesterday, I just felt like he was hesitant at times. Our fullbacks are our whip, and we haven't got any whip yeah. at all. We look at Robertson and Trent and how they play. They provide not only just like the whip and getting crosses in. They do those like cross field passes. But what where I would say it is, changes everything. You know, with Manchester United, yeah. When our fullbacks are there, and our centre halves have got the ball, or our DMs got the ball, yeah. the distribution from those is awful it's poor, so yeah. we're already playing catch up so then you've already got full backs that are thinking oh, can I go as far forward is the ball going to make yeah. it you've already got central midfielders second guessing their runs you've already got strikers if he's not hiding behind a full back doesn't know what move to make so I think a lot of it if we had a solid back four we do improve a lot going forward yeah. but yeah that's not to say there isn't holes in that team because when you look at Matic, you look at right wing, you look at Herrera. Herrera has shown how important he is and he's leaving. I can't it's fucking that's the club. That's the club for you. It's, it's, it's not just the club, but I do hear they that. Have 18 months ago, year. they should have got his sword. Yeah, got, yeah but the thing is... Look, we're now into the last yeah. few months with De Gea and that. Apparently, yeah, like. it was guarantees. So Herrera wasn't guaranteed that he was going to be in the team. The, the issue that Herrera's had is that we've had Mourinho, we've had Van Gaal. And like no one's really like trusted him. And our best runs under both of those managers, you look at the Europa League runs and the FA Cup runs under Van Halen Mourinho, Herrera was the main guy in midfield, well, one of the main players. And the best run side. under uh, Ali. Yeah. Like yeah, so <laughs> yeah. the thing is we never found that third man. Like personally, last summer, a year to go on his contract, a, a cheap transfer, I would have gone for Rabio. Whatever's happened off the pitch in Paris, that, that's a toxic club. A lot of the players have been affected by that. We needed someone who's good <laughs> at winning the ball back, someone who's progressive. It, was, it would have been like a 25, 30 million uh, transfer, someone who's played in City's academy, understands the game, he's, he's gone to Paris, played with a Lexus lad, understands what's needed on the pitch. It was an obvious buy in the summer. We didn't make that. We stuck with that midfield of Maia, Herrera and Pogba. And we clearly needed a third man. He just cheered yeah, me up we about got, PSG on the weekend. We they, someone, lost yeah. the, they, lost the, they lost the cup five. That was funny, that yeah. Neymar. Punches Neymar someone. punching a fan. Come on, if we're going to... It's not a punch. Let's, Allegedly. It's not a punch. That's it's not, not, no, it's not, it it's definitely not a punch. It's like... He tried punching. And then he <laughs> scarped <laughs> really quick. Do you know what else? It wasn't a man. I don't mind about that. 
Yeah, love it. Oh, if, you're gonna punch, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna punch a punch it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah, wanna exactly. get punched, get punched by an Give him a bit of shit. Do it properly. It's like when Skulls swung out, was it Alonso? Yeah, that was weird. Right, if you're gonna, right, you need to connect, you know what I mean? Is that scrappy dude, Lenny? He's about three hours. But I think it's because in your head, you think if I actually knock him down or something, eh, what happens to my career? So Keno did it with Shearer, didn't he? Through the thing, Shearer years ago, missed. Right. So that was um, funny, that. Yeah, yeah. We got some we got some Twitter Twitter questions. Um <clears throat> we've just one of them is from Black Excellence. We've already discussed Jesse Lingard, so I feel like I'll mention his question because what we seem to get accused of here is like protecting certain players. We've discussed Jesse Lingard. I've anyone wanna that. anyone wanna add anything on Jesse Lingard just to uh, He needs to up his game. Yeah, I think we really all agree with that. His game. Ever since his return from his injury, him and Martial haven't been good enough. Right. Um, they need to improve. Yeah. But yeah. when people start saying about Martial more so, get rid, ah, it's like, chill out. You just, like, all want young players. Half of you are bossing nuts over Sancho. Yeah, if he come to United, he'd just, be on his uh, back after a week. The environment and the place of Sancho. Sancho. Yeah, um, he'd, have, he'd have about six months before we turn on him. Yeah, the next yeah, City yeah. player who costs us about 100 million. Oh. He better hit the ground. Dimas <laughs> says, <laughs> give the podcast Indonesian subtitles. Can you sort that out, Nick? Indonesian subtitles. Please. Thanks, Nick. Yep, yeah, sorted. We need Indonesian subtitles on the podcast. Oh, my yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's I'm, done. I told you that Indonesian calls are coming out, didn't I? PP6 <laughs> United, who we also had a discussion with, I think I had a discussion with him yesterday on Twitter, but he wants to bring it back up again today. <laughs> um, why do certain regulars have agendas against certain players and not don't want to criticise Rashford? You tweeted about this yesterday, so I'll let you go. Right, for starters, I, I don't understand this idea that Marcus Rashford, Marcus, Marcus Rashford doesn't get grief. He gets, he gets so much most. grief. <laughs> After that, Ashley I morning, think there's yeah. almost like a reverse prejudice with some people. Because he's from Manchester and he's come from the academy, people say, oh, you're only backing him because he's from Manchester and he's in the academy. That's why you are. Now, I tweet, so I'm not a big stat man, you know that. I'm not, you know, I'm like the opposite of Dave and some of you guys. But if you look at Salah, Kane, Shearer, Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo. I don't know. Ah, Ronaldo, not Arnold. Yeah, yeah. When, like, Harry Kane was 22, which is older than Marcus. He's on the bench at Leicester, Less goals than Marcus. He's on the bench in the yeah. championship, mate. You know, Mo Salah had two Premier League goals to his name at the age of 22. Rashford's 21. Now, I'm not saying Rashford's been good enough this season. I don't think he has. I think he's got the ability nope, to play he hasn't. better. But, while he's been playing with injuries, we all know that. He was playing yesterday with shoulder, shoulder straps up and he ends up going off with a shoulder injury. Probably shouldn't have been starting, but over, overly relying on him. And thirdly, what? Go on. as well, he has got another level to go. He's not the finished article. Far from it. It's 21. There's more to so, so why play him if he was injured? Well, Strap it. You, know, you got Alexi Sanchez. You give Alexi Sanchez. But then, no, I'm just but, saying. but then you pe- people like you, Andy, and me would then say, I want players that are going to play when they're injured and play through injuries and fight for the shirt. Because those are the things that you, you come out and say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't but, that what he's doing? Yeah, but if you, well, I'm saying, Rashford, if he's injured, you don't play him. But Alexi Sanchez, if you're going to get rid, please fucking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> please play him. Oh, oh, you've got 10, 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, he was crap. But if you've got a full nine the on his belly, man, yeah. grand is a bonus. You know what it is? Every time we play like him, we have minutes. to pay him more. And it's like, I think those are where a lot of the issues in the dressing room come from. sort of... I remember, right, years ago in my former life, I used to be a reporter for Lancashire, and I covered Blackburn Rovers, and there was players they wouldn't play because they had to pay them. Yeah. They made an appearance. Now, Blackburn, at the, mid, at the time, were propping up the championship, right? They were, like, going under. The Venkies had come in and just decimated the club. Plenty like, of chickens. We can't play that guy because if we play him, we play him, we've got to pay him an extra 10 grand. We're in Manchester United Football Club and that's our mentality. I think now. every time an extra Sanchez I warms up, Sanchez like... deserve to get played. <laughs> He doesn't deserve to get played regardless of that. Yeah. And I think... I but I do think... But even, even after everything he's done or not done, I still... If, if Marshall was carrying up, like there's been hints of you, you alluded to it earlier, I can still, still see the logic in, in giving him a, a game yesterday. Is he, he going to get any games the next two, last two games of the season? Then, then it's like you say, yeah, Mason should get games, but, it, you know, then we'd all be sat here saying, oh, well, we wouldn't be, but people would be saying, Greenwood, mm, you didn't do anything we came on. Mm. Mm. And it's like, but it's about one in, it, in terms of like showing for the ball, and when he came on against Arsenal, if you remember Mason, coming into the middle, wanting the ball, like wanting to get in certain positions. And and I think that's shown that he's ready. Like in terms of not ready to, to be starting every week, but he's ready to have that shot where he gets 20 minutes against Chelsea to change the game. 
I think that, that that sort of shows it for me. You know, when the player wants to see the ball and wants to have a give and go with your best players on the side like Pogba, then I, I think it should have been. There you go back match, yesterday. He was the only player that wanted it, McTominay. That, like I say, Adam said it, said it right. When it when he come on, he wanted it. Who else did? They all grow up wanting something, or is it? He wanted to put William <laughs> into the stand. From uh, that's about it. Stick yeah. William in the hospital. Well, that's it. That's but, <laughs> Yeah, so going back to your earlier point anyway, Marco, I think Rashford gets the thing. So yeah, and do you know what? I will say this as well. Yes, it does matter that he's from Manchester. Yes, we do like players that are from have come through the academy and are from our hometown. And are that like good? Yeah, why wouldn't they? Well, that's not. How come he was the only one to do come out? Do you think they do that in, in Barcelona? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this this like because they produce a lot. Like, oh, he's he's not in the side. He's only in the side because he's from our academy. So How come like he was the only one to come out um, after the derby and do an interview? No one else. Came out and said that I get it. Pogba for doing that. Andy, that was Andy. That that was set up. That was set up. He 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 was saying he's sorry for Sky. That's his job, Andy. Ah, whatever. He was told. You can't criticize one person for something and praise someone else for doing the same exact thing, Andy. That is what I mean. We don't know what I'm saying. You're talking rubbish. Yeah, in the great words of Dillian White. Talk rubbish. Talking rubbish. It was a hollow. <laughs> it was a hollow apology. Right, Absolute Atif wants garbage. a word with you anyway. At Atif Soben Adele says, why do the performance levels drop every match? And Pogba has been one of the best players on the pitch. Why are all the fans, even our beloved Andy, so he does love you, Andy. Why are you blaming him, Andy? Says Atif. Because he's a, he's supposed to be a superstar and he's supposed to lead from the front. All right, if he's... He's like, a midfielder. He's, he's a midfielder. He, <laughs> he's a midfielder, and he's supposed to have been putting on star performances. And, oh, yes, I, I, how did he get in the PFA Team of the Year? He's, he deserved it. I scratched my head on that. Maybe because all the votes were in January. I've name, heard that. Name three set of midfielders better than Pogba this year, Andy. Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> I can say, mate, he's like, he's like me. You either like mate. him or you don't like him. That's it. See, I, I think I, we don't I know what's happening behind closed doors. It's unfair. I think I Pogba, there's too many extremes. I think, yeah. yeah, like, do you know what summed it up for me? Barca game, I think I did a fan cam with you. And as I'm getting got to talk to you, someone walked past and started Pogba with shit. <laughs> right. Now, I looked at that game at Barca at home, yeah. and there's no way I've been putting Paul Pogba for any of our... He was running all game in that. He's I pressing thought Tommy was our best player. I thought Fred and Pogba played well alongside him. Yeah. I thought the midfield three in that game played well. Pogba was a part of it, yet he was getting the stick for some reason. Young dismantled that game. You know, there's times when Pogba plays okay and people go, oh, he's amazing, which is a bit too shit. And there's times when he does okay and people go, he's yeah. terrible. I think he's a very, very good player, a very talented player in a side that ain't great. And I think there's times when he needs to raise his level and I think there's other times when the players around him need to get to his level. And I think that's where the problem lies. It's I think wh- where you're coming from, Andy, and I agree with you, is that... You wanted to see him lead and kind of make others around him improve. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. But as a central midfielder, doing a central midfielder's job, there isn't many better than him. So I find it difficult. Like, this is why I always ask, what do you expect of Paul Pogba? He's not a Messi. He's not a Ronaldo. He's not going to dribble for everyone and score. He's not going to score a hat-trick every game. He might not even get an assist every game. But he can still be very influential. And I think the prize tag has kind of... First of all, we got to look at the players that have gone for more than him. Were they worth half? Like, you know, Coutinho. Dembele, was was he worth more than Pogba? Probably not. Coutinho, probably not. So you look at all these players, and I think we got value for money with Paul Pogba. Oh, yeah. Did, did anyone really, really, when, before we signed him or when we signed him, question it? Really? Took, no. took him long enough to get him. Yeah, I think everyone was buzzing when we signed him, but well, yeah. I can remember anyway. I was buzzing. No, even I think that's not helped him as well. Yeah. That kind of the expectations up even, here. Do you know what? He's had his best season even, ever. Even in the, stats, pure that, stats. The term. first game he played for us on his return in Southampton summed it all up. Right, because was at the game, watched him. I thought he played really well. I get home, I'm like, I looked on Twitter. And he must his first pass must have given give it away. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. someone like loads of fans were on his case saying, I can't believe he paid 89 million for this shit. And then at the end of the game I was seeing tweets saying that's the greatest midfield performance I've seen since Kino. And I'm like, it's not. 
Just yeah. like it's all extremes. It's because we haven't, we didn't see that quality for years. But that day he was unreal. And then you go home and like you said, you see people picking up one pass. Yeah. Or getting over, you know. And yeah. It's like, it's like I said, one extreme. It just, just seems like, a bit extreme. Yeah. But for me, the the main thing I would say is I would want to keep Paul Popper. I think we get rid of him. You know what I think it is? Why people it's, come down on him so bad? Struggle to replace him, and you know, you know why I think him. people come down on him so hard, and not just the expectation thing. I think people are just scared of him losing him again. I think if Paul Pogba come out and said, I ain't going nowhere, my United's my team for the next 10 years, and all that stuff, I think people would be like, you know what, this guy's mint. He's our only good player. I think it's that. Does he want to leave United? Mm. Is he is he cheating on us? Is he doing anything behind our backs? Don't applaud the is fans, he, does he? Is he, is he going to, like, you know, is he going to do us over? And I think that feeling kind of turns into... Negativity and hatred, and it's true because Rooney never recovered from it. Mm. Rooney never recovered from that flirting, for one of a better word, we say, where it looked like he might end up going to City that time. I think if you look at what Rooney achieved and what he did in the game, and I know we had a bad like his, his last few years weren't great, but I don't think he ever became loved mm. the way he yeah, should have yeah, been yeah. because fans just never got over that. I know a lot of fans who just turned on him and never ever yeah, gave him it, truly it's his own fault you know what I mean yeah. and you look at what Rooney achieved you know, some of the goals he scored in big games Champions League finals the overhead kicking in City you know winning everything breaking records as our top scorer this is a guy who you should be saying we love him but we don't Lot well some do but a lot of you know, fans don't because they never forgave him for that and I forget where you're coming from Macker. I think there is an element of he left us for you eh, first time round he says he says statements that are reminiscent of Ronaldo when he was going. You never know where things get. I'm happy now. Things may change. That sort of thing. I'm not. I'm paraphrasing. So there is an element of that. So I agree. I yeah, think yeah. he came out and said, "I'm here for life." But he won't. You know, he won't. know. And, and if we're being honest, he doesn't owe us anything. He doesn't have to. Do you know what I mean? I think like, we don't know what's we'll, happened behind closed doors. Will eventually doors. leave. I don't think he'll leave this summer. I'm, I could be yeah. wrong. I mate. I think he will I eventually. Don't believe anything in this football world anymore. If Anything's I was possible. Paul Pogba, yeah. I would leave if I wasn't a Man United fan yeah. because when I look at the way these clubs run he's got no guarantees that's my point when I keep mentioning we don't know what's it's like the hell he's probably thinking you have wasted the best who years are we of my gonna life buy? <laughs> who are we going to buy like that's going to help this team grow what are we doing so if he's looking around and the way the club's being run is in the wrong direction he's like if we do I sell wanna, him I want to win everything if we United, do sell him we're not going to will the money the go towards at. funding the team Exactly. That's the other issue. No, it won't. Well, you know will the thing it go is, towards your team? You know the thing is? We, no, it won't. If we sold, like, we're probably going to spend about 150, 200 million this summer. More. If we sold Pogba, we'd still spend we'd still 150, spend. 200 that's million. And that's the problem. That's the problem, yeah. Like, we'd still look like, oh, we've spent, we've spent money, yeah, but yeah. no, we haven't. 150 million nowadays isn't shit. It really isn't. You look at it. Right? You get 200 if you get from them. Even yeah. the likes of. Bournemouth spent nine million this this season. Bournemouth spent mm-hmm. nine million, and they're not chasing the Champions League or trying to put a title chance together. And we're going to go out and rebuild our side by spending sixty million more than that. It's not happening. You need to spend like nearer to sort of four hundred million. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but if you want a world class defender, two world class defenders, a right back and a centre back, you want a world class winger, and you want a world class midfielder as well. Because let's face it, Herrera's going to go. Matic is on his way out. So we need two. Sorry? So we need two. New striker. Yeah, new striker. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, and possibly, although I don't think it'll happen, even replacing a goalkeeper. You, you, you're over 300 million now. It's unless, not going to happen unless, in one unless, summer. <laughs> unless you do it where you bring in some youngsters, you know, you go for, for younger players, you give some of the academy lads a chance, and you buy up and I think you can stars, still, I, can I think you, you can still have stars. stars. No, you can't. Yeah, but can no, we have the patience price. though? Yeah, you can, but would we have the patience? Same there's, ball, there's players that are borderline like two seasons away from being All right, so I'll season. give you a good example. And this, these are decisions that we don't make, that City do. So Yori Tillemans at Leicester, brilliant midfielder, completely changed that Leicester side. And he's one of, you know, those up and coming stars in midfield. Probably get him around 40 to 50 from Monaco. And his and his ability is incredible, and that's someone that you can. If Herrera leaves, you can bring in. Will we make that signing? No, we don't. Thomas Party, he's got a release clause. A brilliant midfielder for Atletico Madrid. The amount of games I've watched against um, Barcelona, where he's shown up against the likes of Messi, and you know, locked them off the game. 
But we won't make that. What's the minimum? I think it's that round of fifty. Something so there like that. you go, right? But, but there's we are two not making players, yeah. and you've already spent hundred million, and you haven't even sorted your defence out yet. No, but I'm saying even when we are buying three or four players, yeah. you can and you want to spend around two hundred million. You can make the right decisions. We've not, look at City. Does City really spend over eighty million? They don't. Whereas what, like teams what, recently what, do. Uh, do have they? They, uh, they have spent a no, lot. No, no. They have spent a lot. City. Well, okay, last season. Well, they spend it in the right way. Pep had his first last season. Right, he finished fourth. Didn't win anything. Right, and he knew what he needed to do, and he went out and he replaced about three of the defense. Yeah. He got five in and, and five out. And the keeper that he'd all. They also in. used that year to get used to the way he played football. Yeah. It was the same. He replaced the keeper that he brought in as well. That he wasn't good enough. Replaced Bravo with Edison. Replaced like brought in two new centre backs. Obviously, they already had John Stones. Two fifty mil full back. Bought the porter. He went out and he spent the money he needed to spend. I think Laporte has been as good as Van Dijk this season. Laporte has been really. I good. think Van Dijk just. Do you know what? I know it's going off topic. The reason he deserved PFA Player of the Year or whatever it was, Van Dijk, is because he's so much more important to that Liverpool team than oh, any yeah, one of those you know, City someone, mate, someone said to me yesterday, which is a really good point, and I don't really care about it, but it's true. It's almost like City haven't got the credit this season. Mm. Everyone's just been talking about Liverpool. Mm. It's because of what the City done last season yeah. as well. And it's like City on course yeah. finished on what ninety eight points. City, and all you're hearing about is Liverpool. City Liverpool. could like, do the domestic you treble. League, yeah. You talk about Liverpool bottling it in somehow <laughs> by losing one game. Yeah, that's <laughs> mad. If they don't it's win the league this season, Liverpool, right? if I was a Liverpool fan, I'd be jumping off bridges and all sorts. <laughs> like, <laughs> jumping into the mirrors. Yeah. You have that <laughs> sort of season. <laughs> you know how disheartening it must be to get yourself back top. Think God, these like just need to draw now and we're lads. Yeah. And then they win every single. Now I'm saying that, and I still think City are going to drop points somewhere. So. You know what makes yeah. that though? What? Well, didn't we win it in '97 with uh, 76 points? 75. 75. Uh, they keep bringing that point. <laughs> up, I mean, that's great. I mean, yeah, it's I mean, great. It's brilliant. We'll wait, I mean? We won it in 2011 I with 80 they, points. They got 97 points in second. I think it just shows that the league's a lot poorer. Yeah, <laughs> there's a goal for <laughs> difference. <laughs> It's stronger at the top yeah. half and it's weaker at the bottom half. Man City have got the finances, they've got the team spirit, they've got the work rate and they work for each other. So do Liverpool. The rest of the don't do it. Even we don't do it. The clubs run properly. They've, they've had the managers time. that have been given the time to implement their ideas Just, as well. Exactly. And it seems to be, like if you look at Liverpool, they were after Salah for years. Wasn't Klopp just came in and said, let's get Salah? And the, look at some of the recruitment they did. Robertson, how much to get him for? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's a well, structure. Those are the type of but if we signed like Robertson, fans would be complaining, you know. Why, why bad I want to like, ten million pound yeah. all players mm-hmm. from Hull City. Mm-hmm. Even though he was brilliant <laughs> against <laughs> Arsenal and United towards the end of that season, it was an obvious bad. Like Harry Maguire. Right? I remember sides. watching him against him in, in the yeah, League Hull. Cup. Oh final. yeah, both of them. Him and Robertson were men. No, oh, in the League Cup. Not in the Youth Cup, the oh, League right, Cup. Sorry, sorry, right. um, and I remember thinking he was mint. Both of them were good. But they again, I would never have thought signing. No, I, I still don't think signing, but again, you I do don't want another meathead English time. defender that's just going to get injured. This is where it's decision It'll time for Philip clubs Jones now. Either, Look, to see. Everyone's going to retool for next season. <laughs> yeah. We've got to be on the game. Well, whatever We've that is. We've got to be on the game for retooling. Another meathead Englishman. Give me a foreigner. Be a lovely foreigner. Gonna be gets, asking your comments. Gets injured, I mean, injuring everyone I mean, like Rojo. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you want the South American <laughs> yeah. defender? Oh, seats. With, with season ticket renewal next week, isn't it? An African the European one. Yeah. Season ticket renewal in two days. Yeah, two days. Season, season to ticket renewal well. this week. I, to do. Yeah, I, I will not. Say, I will I, not. I will not pay to watch. I refuse to pay for that. I'll be back on fan cam. I'm not renewing. I'm not renewing my season ticket until I know for a fact the club have secured another sponsor. <laughs> That's I'm waiting for that, yeah. So you work. care about sponsors? So we've got that new multivitamin sponsoring. <laughs> multivitamin. Yeah. Yeah. Season ticket sponsor. As long as, as, long as I can see that multivitamin the board that's going around yeah, the ground. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so we've got our new tampon sponsor. We've got pop up shops all over the gap. They'll never plug the leaks <laughs> in that defence. Someone was going on to me yesterday outside the fan camera about sunglasses being sold outside. Yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> he's just probably him. <laughs> so, wow, well, you want to go to a football match and look cool. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I said Pogba over there selling sunglasses. <laughs> Remember those people blaming Fellaini because people are buying wigs like Fellaini was telling everyone to buy those Afro wigs. <laughs> I see fully grown men in Afro week, so. Yeah, I was aware of that, man. There's a guy who's sitting there also, and every time the ball went out, he used to do his dance. He had his wig on, trying to get on the trolley. <laughs> he did it for about a month and then gave up. 
Like, he's just like, what? He used to do that. Like, he had a wig on. Where, he where does he sit? He's sitting in the front of Jay's stand. Like, in front uh, of Jay's stand. And every time no. he, he had a Fellaini wig on when we bought Fellaini, every time the ball went out near him, like, for a corner or whatever, he'd get up and do, like, this cheeky dance. <laughs> like, Fellaini was just trying to get on the telly. You know, like, that guy that paints himself red when he's kid? Jesus wept oh, it. That, that was your last year, uh, Europa League final against um, Celta Vigo, wasn't it? I remember that. Uh-huh. That's what the he said. Semi, the guy yeah, the pays, semi-final, yeah. Yeah, oh, paid himself red. I remember, yeah, I, I don't know who the guy is. I just saw him once. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was at every game after a bit, wasn't he? Trying yeah, to ask for a free because... Europa League ticket. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Right into your night. After Please being... can have a free ticket. He's only, he'd only been to that one or two games. Did you ever see that guy, that Spurs fan, that had his face painted and was being racist? Proper oh, weirdo. What was he doing? And I was thinking, you're a fully grown man with your face painted in a football stadium being was racist. It was, it was, it, it, it was an Oriental uh, fan behind him. Yeah, Oriental fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying yeah, yeah. something about yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was. That was On bizarre. every level, wow. that's messed up. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, you the geezer should have chinned You sort your own player, you wear your face paint, and you're a grown man for starters. Yeah. Yeah. So there's three banning orders in, rolled into one. Yeah, check his check his uh, desktop. Won't be surprised if United try to ban me from the stadium the way I go on. Why you gotta see your positivity? <laughs> You're an island of positivity, so I should have despair. Yeah, uh, three more days to renew my season ticket. I don't know if I want to do it. Two more games left to go, and this season is over. And I'll tell you what, next year's our year. Yeah, right. Yeah. Garner, Gomez, Greenwood, absolute madness next season. Shall I tell you what happened the other day? <laughs> Carrington. Oh, yeah. You so were. I had the joy of training at Carrington the other day. Players and manager were supposed to be involved, but they must have dropped out after getting beat by City, which is understandable. No. Um, I did an unbelievable bit of skill. Flicked it over this lad, nutmegged another lad, took a shot, missed. Don't listen to that end bit. And then James Garner, and what's that geezer's name? Gorman. Mella. The hair. Mella. Scored a hat trick the other day. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both said I should be signed up. Just saying. Is this real? It sounds like it's smart. No, no, this really <laughs> happened. <laughs> then, I don't know if it was an ironic sign. Then Ollie came over to me and said, "Why are you playing professional football?" <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to watch. Uh, we're gonna have to hit Jimmy Garner up on uh, on Instagram and ask him. He was lurking in the it Insta happened. stories. He the day. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. you sh- I see you watching us, Jimmy. Some of those players actually watch our fan cam. Do you, yeah, do you I see them on the Insta, yeah. mate. Yeah, I know the youth team do. Let's hope Pogba doesn't. <laughs> he'd love me though, to be Bandies, fair. Yeah, he'd love us. We, we give him that much protection. We actually like him. Andy likes him too. He's yeah. just scared. I'm just an hardcore red, mate. I've been going since he was eight years old. I've seen everything. <laughs> eight. Oh, man, I was there when I was five. I was Fair there. Enough. I was there in my dad's nutsack before I was born. <laughs> Can anyone beat that? I'll tell you that as a no. Right, on that note, we are heading out of here. Andy, any final words? Who's your Wally of the Week? I am Adam McCollum. Is it you? I was going to say Pogba. No, oh, no, no, no. Is it, no, it Pogba? Double down. Do the house soon and just double down. Like, I refuse to bend on this one. So no, I, mean, no, football, it, I have stuck to my Football is a matter of opinion. All right, what's the one of your week? Go on, mate. The go entire on. squad. Oh, okay. That's Steven not one, though, is it? Oh, I can say. I'm, football's a matter of opinion. You you go for the Wally of the week. I'm, I'm sticking to what I'm... What I'm Right, what are the week's the entire United squad? No. Not, not for me. No, we can't do that. Why? you got to give yours. Oh, I don't no, no, that. no. I was saying that's what he's going with. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Sorry, I was confused. <laughs> um, my one of the week, right? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> oh, we played right. him. The fact of the matter is, I'm gonna right, shoot you. The fact of the matter is, he drove a car, he crashed it, he crashed it, and someone died. Right? That's the fact of the matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And then he goes and scores that stuffy goal against. Can't even say allegedly. <laughs> Can't get you out of this one. <laughs> so I love those. Your Wally of the week yeah. for scoring that goal and yes. making the hair cry. Yeah. Mine's Ed Woodward and it'll stay as Ed Woodward until he starts. You Can know, I shake your hand on that as well, mate? Yeah. yeah, it's not changing. He didn't say Paul Pogba, he said Ed Woodward. Oh, Ed Woodward. That, that's just as good. <laughs> yeah, that's staying, it's not going to change until Ed he starts. Ed Wallywood. So, and everything. Yeah, Ed Wallywood. I wonder if he saw my personal message. That's not us not getting on <laughs> I reckon he did, you know. I reckon he that's did. That's us not getting on any more media lists for another 12 That's going to be the top of the YouTube searches on Ed Woodward. <laughs> that, yeah, it would be. It would He's definitely be. the type of search his own name. Yeah, it? he is. 
He's got he's got an account on Twitter. I remember well. when we seen him at a service station after we beat his Mourinho's first. on Twitter, I'm convinced as well. <laughs> Mourinho's on Twitter as him as a fan account of himself yeah, yeah. winding me up. I bet he's the type that. of guy to do that. I'm certain about that. Have you seen them weird types? Ah, you're not bad. Have you seen them weird types that <laughs> I love? Was the problem that I love Mourinho? Them weird United fans, I just won't let go. Yeah, like proper, like love him. Mental. Like, the same people that yeah. accused us of having a cult with Marcel and Pogba now have a cult. For a man who's not smelling here anymore. Yeah, <laughs> go follow him to wherever. Anyway, thanks for Stockholm though. Um, <laughs> love you, Joe. Uh, yeah, I said that. Do yeah. Is yours? Is yours Say is that it's a hard one this week. So many of them. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, yeah. Young, yeah. Ashley, Ashley Young. Young. Oh I thought he was going for the Nicky Bot angle then. Nah, nah, nah. I thought he was going for the Nicky Bot angle. Allegedly, Ashley Ashley there are reasons. I'm not going for Ashley Young. Jesus. Um, Andy Tay, no, I'm just joking. He really, he really means it. He really means it. It's your Get opinion. Seriously. Hey, Raymond, fight out. Right. Blood everywhere. Me and you fight Paul Pogba, special guest referee. How does that sound? Pay per view. Sounds like a great celebrity death match. You end up fighting match. Pogba instead of you. Old Trafford. Old Trafford. Celebrity death match, the YouTube version, because we're clearly not celebrities, Andy, so let's... Turn. No, no. Yeah, um... Come on. Be my wally of the week is... I don't know, it's been a long week. Yeah, drum roll. I don't know, you know. <laughs> I gotta say, David De Gea, man. Mm. Yeah. No, no, no. I was trying to be nice to give it Alonso, but. I've given. Nah, you know what? People <laughs> can't say. The first one. <laughs> I, I give. I know it's his job to I've been ruthless meals. with my Wallies of the week. So I've yeah. given one to Pogba, given one to Woodward, and I'm giving one to De Gea. Because he's basically tossed us out of the Champions League. But. He was one of the reasons we were in the Champions League the last couple of years, so swings around about, say. Yeah, I think, you know. Sorry, David. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> we're done anyway, guys. Make yeah. sure you're subscribing on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, all that good stuff. Keeping it locked on YouTube.com slash Full Time Devils as well. For more of the podcast, I've been Adam. He's been Abdullah J. And of course, Andy Tate. Um, you didn't see his fan come after the game. Go check it out. Um, and we'll be back this week with a preview for the game against Huddersfield. Jay, you're doing fan cams at like that one, aren't you? I am. Coming out of retirement. It's been a long time. Well, um, off, off. Won't surprise me if they beat us. On that positive note, guys, <laughs> we're out of here.